Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at Combiner Wars Leader Class Megatron and I am really excited to be bringing you this review. This guy is brand new, I just picked him up on my way home and I'm really excited and eager to open this guy up and get into it. But before I do that, I wanted to get a shot of him in the box. Uh, I usually don't show off the box so I, I kind of wanted to do something a little different since I just picked this guy up. I picked him and I picked up Armada Megatron. So I'm going to be doing a review of both. And I kind of wanted to go ahead and show the boxes off. So here we go. Uh, here he is in package. And a very cool package. He's in the Combiner Wars packaging with the black background and the red lettering. Um, and here he is. He's packaged in robot mode. Um, kind of a thing that uh, I kind of miss the Transformers being packaged in, in their vehicle mode or in their alternate modes. You know, they're supposed to be robots in disguise and and I grew up with Transformers being packaged in their alternate modes. It's just kind of something that I miss. But anyway, you know, there he is. There, you can see the robot right there. He's pretty big. He looks really good. I really love that G1-esque look that he's got now. And he's got some really cool artwork going on here. Around the top there, uh, just, uh, just the Autobot symbol there. Uh, not a whole lot going on the side here. Just another Autobot symbol, just on a black background. Uh, same artwork over here with Combiner Wars lettering. And then on the back you got some um, some promo or some uh, package shots, or not some package shots, some actual product shots of the toy inside. Along with uh, four language, uh, short little um, bio of the figure there. So if you want to go ahead and read through that, uh, whichever language suits you, go ahead and pause that and uh, read through it real quick. And pretty cool shot of Megatron there. And there you go in the tank mode. Uh, just some writing on the bottom. And that's about it. So, yeah, very cool. And uh, like I said, I just kind of wanted to show off the box real quick, do something a little different. But let's get this guy opened up and get into the review. And here is Megatron out of the package. Released in February of 2015, this guy is brand new and is starting to hit stores right now as of the time of this recording and is currently retailing for approximately $45. Out of the package, he comes with his set of instructions. He also comes with a collector's card with some cool artwork and he's also got some stickers. Uh, stickers are pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is, but these down here are pretty cool. The little squiggly lines here that emulate the squiggly lines that the original G1 uh, Megatron had on his chest. So that's pretty cool. And he's also got some Decepticon and Autobot stickers. I don't really know what those are about. Um, the way I understand it is if you follow the comic books, you'll understand this. Um, I don't follow the comic books, so obviously I don't know what this is about. I'm guessing he's changed factions. So, I don't know. Uh, why don't you leave me a comment down below and let me know what that's all about. Like I said, I don't follow the comic books. So, there's that. And uh, he also comes with these two guns that actually come put together and uh, they come combined in the package. So, they come like so. This is going to be his, uh, I guess, combined weapon mode for his robot mode. And this is kind of reminiscent of the gun that he carried. And uh, he had an extra gun that he came with in uh, G1. His G1 figures did. So that kind of looks like it. And then there's also, there's that Generations um, sort of G2 figure that was a tank that had that spinning arm gimmick. And uh, that came with a rifle that sort of kind of looked like this. So there you go. So he comes with that gun. This gun, like like you just saw, it splits apart. He's got a peg and port right there. And then you can mount these guys up here to the top. And then he's also got this missile right here. I'll show you what the missile looks like. There you go. And this guy just loads up right here in the front of the turret. Go ahead and uh, point that anywhere you want. And there you go. So, it uh, doesn't shoot terribly hard, but it does shoot far enough. So, that's pretty cool. So, there you go. That's, that's everything that he comes with in package. So, here he is in tank mode. And this guy is gorgeous. I have to say, I'm really impressed. I, I, already, I already thought that I was going to enjoy this guy. And uh, he does not disappoint. I'm really enjoying this guy. Here in tank mode, Megatron is approximately 10 and a half inches long and about 3 inches tall at the top of the turret. So, check him out. Yeah, Hasbro said that Megatron is never going to be a gun again. That's fine. They made him a tank, but they made him a tank that transforms into a pretty G1-esque looking robot, and I love that. This tank, this silver tank, looks awesome. I absolutely love this thing. This thing is massive. Check this guy out. He's um, sort of uh, M1A 
Abram-esque style uh, uh, tank. Of course, it doesn't look exactly like an M1 Abrams, but you can see that that's very much where they got the inspiration from. Uh, he's got a nice long uh, cannon. The turret does rotate 360 degrees around, so that does go all the way around. That is pretty cool. Now, unfortunately, the turret does not go up and down because of the way that it pegs into the arms. The uh, the cannon is not going to point up. That's that's unfortunate, but when it goes into the transformation, you kind of understand why it does that. Now, one big, big, giant feature about this guy is that it has actual working rubber treads. Check that out. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first time that we've ever gotten a threaded transformer with actual working treads. I don't know if that's true, but I think it is. Usually we get just the solid threads with the little tiny wheels underneath them. Um, this may be the first time we've actually gotten working threads, and I think that's just so awesome. That is the coolest thing on this thing. That is just so cool. Now, it's not just it's not one long track all the way around. It's it's sort of kind of like a, almost like an H tank disguising itself as a regular tank because we've got four set of threads or treads rather, uh, but they're lined up one behind the other. So it, it looks like a regular tread on a tank, but it's it's actually four treads. But it disguises it really well. It looks just like an M1 Abrams, and it's got working treads. That's so awesome. Check out all the detail on this guy. All the plating is there. All the rivets are there. He's got some Minicom ports, which come into play a lot more when we get into his Armada counterpart, his retool that we're going to be reviewing later. And a lot of detail, you can kind of, you can see the fists a little bit back here. Now, here's something. Um, this piece down here um, actually turns into the uh, kind of like the crotch plate for the robot mode. Now, you could, turn, you know, this this is kind of, uh, I don't know, this kind of seems weird to me the way this sits here. It just kind of seems like an unfinished piece just sitting here. Granted, you do have a Minicom port here, so I guess that works. But it just it, it, it seemed weird to me. That, that piece just sat there. Now, you could unpeg this piece here and rotate it up and use it to cover up the back of the turret so that you don't see the fists. And, and it looks really, really nice. However, the problem with that is that now you can't rotate the turret, or you could, but then that thing is just going to pop right off. So it's kind of a, an aesthetic choice, I guess, you have to make. If you wanted to cover up the fists, you can do so, but you can't turn the turret or you can have the fists exposed and this piece down here with the Minicom port and let me just clip that back into place there. And then you can add, have a, a, a rotating, rotating turret. So the choice is yours when it comes to that. So, and you've got some more ports down here so you can take these weapons and you can plug them in other spots you know, down here if you want or whatever. So that's pretty cool that you've got those. And as I showed you earlier, You've got your uh, your turret down here, or your cannon rather, with your uh, your little red top right here. You push on this, and shoots out your cannon, blows off your face. And uh, there's the missile that comes packed with Megatron. So, yeah, it's uh, it's not the strongest thing ever, but it does shoot okay, I suppose. Let's see how far we can go with that. Yeah, we hit the wall, so and it did lose a little pop. So, not terrible. So it does shoot pretty good. So there it is. There he is. In tank mode, and just for comparison, here he is next to Combiner Wars Voyager size um, Optimus, just so we can see him next to his Voyager counterpart, his mortal enemy. There you go. So, let's bring him up a little bit. We're going to have to do that for transformation anyway, so there you go. Pretty good size difference, I think. Uh, pretty comparable. So yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked with this. I'm so happy that I found this guy today and picked him up. So let's get into the transformation. Transformation is actually pretty simple for this guy. So go ahead and remove the weapons. And just in case, I haven't had any problems with it yet, but Murphy's Law is that if anything is going to go wrong, it will go wrong on camera. I'm going to go ahead and remove the missile and shoot it across the room and off the table. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that for the transformation. So uh, let's see, where do we start? Let's start with uh, right back here where we were before with these uh, with this crotch piece. I'm just going to go ahead and unpeg that from the back of the legs. This these back threads right here, these are going to be the legs. So I'm going to unpeg that uh, that crotch piece from there, and then these um, 
these leg pieces have a tab that are pegged into the side of the tank there. So, and they're pretty tight. So you kind of, kind of, kind of have to pull on them quite strongly. There you go. Okay. So you're going to pull on those, pop those off. Go ahead and uh, turn this guy up just to get it out of the way. And go ahead and turn these guys all the way down until that clicks into place. Same thing on this side. That clicks into place like so. And then these guys down here are going to be the feet, so go ahead and turn these down. Ratchety feet, those are nice. And uh, that's pretty much going to be your legs done right there. Um, that up here, we're going to go to the top. Man, this guy's going to be tall. This is a really nice, big, beefy figure. I like it a lot. So um, these front treads are pegged into the front up here where this is going to be the chest plate. So you can go ahead at this point and take the uh, turret and just push it all the way in. That's going to collapse like so. And then these guys are pegged in. You can see the little tab and port right there. So you can just go ahead and untap those from there. And just kind of push these back for now and just kind of get them out of the way. And then the turret is going to split into the arms. Now, once again, this uh, cannon is actually attached to this side right here. This is going to be your right arm. But it's pegged in two different spots here and here to this um, left arm and it's pegged in quite tightly oh <laughs> you know the first time I went to unpeg that it was real tight but now it came off easy so I'm glad it did that actually um, go ahead and rotate these out and get them out of the way um, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and bring this uh, chest plate down the chest plate is on a double hinge here in here so bring this guy all the way down here's some pegs here's some ports so peg that guy right in there make sure you bring that all the way down peg it right in there Peg, port, peg your crotch piece right in there, turn your head around. Go ahead and bring these, the, this bottom part of the uh, turret, this is going to rotate up. And that is going to reveal the fist. Same thing on this side over here. And uh, you can go ahead and rotate the cannon and push it out of the way. Now you can do one, one uh, well, you, you know what, we'll get into the cannon later because there's a bunch of things you can do with a cannon. And then finally, we're going to come back here, and these guys are going to we're going to move the camera up again. Uh, these front turrets, uh, they're going to peg in together here and here. So you're just going to rotate these all the way around. You can see these, uh, these double hinges. So these just come all the way out like so. And then they're going to peg in together, and then they're going to slide down, just like so. And there is Megatron in robot mode. Check this guy out this guy is huge i gotta push push him all the way back check this guy out he's huge and he's very g1 looking and he is awesome i really really love the way this guy looks here in robot mode megatron is approximately nine inches tall as far as articulation goes he's got a uh, uh double not a ball joint he's got like a double jointed neck so he's got a uh a, or hinge rather so he's got a hinge that goes uh, side to side there for rotation. And then you can see that other hinge right there for the up and down motion. And just look at that head sculpt for Megatron right there. That is so G1. That is a G1 Megatron right there if ever I saw one. He looks fantastic. For the shoulders, the shoulders could go in and out just like so. And um, I've heard a lot of people complain about the way that these go in and out um, because it kind of looks like they're sitting on top of this peg here. And it's understandable the reason they do that is because of the way that the arms turn into the turret and then the turret gives you a 360. So if it didn't have it the way it does, then you wouldn't have that rotating turret. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't look great, but how, how often are you going to pose your Megatron like that, right? So anyway, you do have the ability to make your shoulders go out. You do have a rotation. You've got, or yeah, your shoulder can go 360. You've got a rotation at the elbow. You've also got a bend, a 90 degree bend at the elbow, and you've got a rotation at the fist. Really good articulation so far on Megatron. You've got a waist rotation. Now, the thing about the waist rotation is that these guys, these threads back here, they're going to get in the way of your waist articulation, as you can see there. So you, if, if you want to turn your waist, you're going to be a little hindered unless you push your threads up. So there's going to be a little give and take there depending on how far you want to turn them. You know, you're going to have to turn it, push these up a little bit. So it's going to be up to you. There's going to be a little give and take there, okay? 
All right, uh, hips, you got his uh, skirts do move out of the way. You've got universal joints at the hips, so you can go in and out. You can go forward and backwards. You've got a rotation right there at the, uh, at the thigh, right there. Uh, you got a nice bend at the knee. Not quite a 90 because of the threads, but you do have a good bend. And then at the feet, you do have, you have a little bit of tilt. This is due to transformation. And you've got a little bit, just a little, not much, but you do have a little bit of ankle tilt. So, yeah, very nice articulation for Megatron here. I'm really digging it. And I think he looks fantastic. Now, as far as possibility goes, like I said, he's got those, um, those universal joints at the hips, but it seems like he suffers a little bit from the wide tooth gearing system that Optimus and Motormaster have, where you go from pretty much straight legged like this to super wide leg stance like so, and there's not really an in between there. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. So as far as um, Oh, as far as his weapon goes, you can give him his um, his two rifles or his two weapons that he has for tank mode. Once again, you can peg those guys together, and you can give him that that gun right there, or you can mount it on the side of the arm as well, just like so. So, really up to you. This really kind of harkens back to that old uh, handgun that the G1 Megatron had as well. So, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, now, I was talking about the talking about the uh, the arm cannon here. And if you look on the arm cannon, the thing is on a hinge, okay? So if you straighten out the arm, you can actually, according to the instructions, it's intended to be up just like so. And the reason for that is so that you have an elbow bend like that, okay? Now, if you want to be a little more G1 about it, you can turn it and have it on top of the arm like that. Now, you're going to be giving up your uh, your elbow bend when you do that. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Now, another thing that you can do, if you notice you've got this uh, this cannon piece or this, this barrel just sticking out here. Uh, what I've seen some people do with their Megatrons is that you can go ahead and spin this guy around and now you have a more G1 looking cannon sticking on the top of the arm there, which looks really nice if you have them like this, or you have them actually pointing the gun, or pointing the cannon rather, that looks really good right there. You can still also do this and also give them the elbow. So you've got four different ways that you can do that, uh, that cannon right there. The only thing about having the turret turned around like this is that when you have them standing static or straight up and down like so, then you've got that barrel sticking way too far up above his shoulder. And I think that kind of kills the look a little bit. You know, this looks really nice down here. Again, if you kind of turn it so that you don't see this top part back here, I think that looks okay. But when you do this, this whole thing just kind of kills it for me, I think. So, you know, you got, you got a couple different things that you can do here. Just kind of play around with it and uh, see what you like best. Uh, for the purposes of the review, I'm just going to kind of do it the way the... Uh, uh, the way the instructions show it, I'm going to give him his handgun and I'm going to load his his missile here. And, you know, just like I said, for the purposes of the review, I'm just going to kind of have him the way that the instructions show him. There you go. So there's, there's a nice, good look at Megatron in robot mode. And once again, for comparison, here he is with Combiner Wars Voyager Size Optimus. Let's just move your... <laughs> your handgun down and out of the way there and uh, you can see the massive size difference here again leader class versus voyager class and i think that looks i i think that actually sizes very well megatron should be a huge uh gladiator next to optimus so there you go uh, there's your uh your size comparison uh optimus is getting ready to get his butt handed to him by megatron so yeah there you go um there's a uh, combiner wars leader class megatron i'm really enjoying this figure i'm really looking forward to go getting into the uh the armada megatron version of this because i love armada megatron so i'm really enjoying this figure um so there he is one last look at combiner wars leader class megatron what do you think of this figure? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Are you in between? Is there a figure that you would like for me to review next? Please let me know by leaving me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time.